Hey, what's up everyone? This is Easy Speeds and Feeds. I'll uh, show you guys how to uh, spot, peck drill, and tap a couple quarter 20 holes in Mastercam. So, here's our part we drew up. And all we want to do is add two holes into it. So the next level is going to be stock model. And we're going to do this before we do any tool paths because we want to be able to verify everything we create. So click the check there and we will have to um, extrude some solids into those holes. That's not going to work. We need to choose a wireframe. Okay. We'll just use a wireframe to fill in those holes. Click on create body. Click, click the check. Now we'll do a boolean. We'll add those two holes to the check. And now this will be used as our verify stock model. We'll just call it add quarter 20 holes. Whoops, we forgot to select the model, most important part. Just click on it. Okay, regen it. Now hide it. Okay, so our verify is all set up. Now we can program off the solid. So we'll just click on drill. And it will snap to the center of those holes. Select library tool. What we're looking for is a spot drill that will be big enough for a quarter 20 hole. So the diameter will be 0 0.250. And we want to spot the hole to like 0.265 or whatever it calls out on the print. We'll just We'll just give it a nice lead in for this video. So we'll have to choose a 3 8. Edit the tool. Change the tip angle. We'll pretend we're using 120 degree. We'll call it tool one. And we'll just go real slow with this thing. Linking parameters, change it all to absolute. We'll select the depth and then now we need to add um, more so we'll tell us the finish diameter is 0 0.265 and we'll add that to the depth so it's going to go 50 thou down from zero which is just below those bosses and then it's going to go another 70 thou to make a spot face that's 265 thou in diameter copy and paste what we just did Select library tool. Now we're tapping. We're going to drill it smaller than the major diameter of the tap. So quarter 20 is 0.201 for the minor. Now we're going to edit the tool just like the spot drill. Tool 
tool two and we'll go to easyspeedsandfeeds.com and this is where I get all my speeds and feeds from 300 service foot four thousand five tenths that looks about right okay nice reinitialize speeds and feeds now we're gonna peck drill it because we have to go down pretty deep and it's not through coolant so we want to take pecks bring the tool up let it cool down take more pecks so 50 thou is pretty light peck so it should give us a nice hole Okay, so we spotted it, we drilled it to the minor <clears throat> diameter, and now we just want to copy and paste, go in the parameters, and we want to find a tap. Okay. Now we'll edit the tool. Go to 250. As you can see, the feed changes depending on your speed. Cut parameters, we'll change it to tap. So it goes clockwise in, counterclockwise out. That's important. If it's not on tap, it'll go clockwise in, clockwise out, and probably snap your tap off or destroy your threads. Now we'll have to reinitialize speeds and feeds. Click the check. Okay. So, we'll have to make sure that our stock model is on. Just go down to stock model. Now we can verify it. Here's where that stock model comes in handy. So there it is. There's our piece just without the quarter 20 holes. Looks like that drill is starting a little bit high. But it looked like it did give us a nice chamfer lead-in for that quarter 20 hole. That's, that's really important, so that's good. And using Verify, you can check those kind of things. We use Backplot. This is just another way to view things. Yep, so that drill's starting a little bit high. But as you see in backplot, you can't really tell if your chamfer is um, big enough and like what material is getting taken out. You can kind of tell, but I'd strongly recommend using Verify for just about anything. Change the retract to 0 0.1. Regen. Okay, that's looking good. Back plot the tap. Clockwise in, clockwise, counterclockwise out. Perfect. So there was our uh, just simple video on how to spot, peck drill, and tap some holes. Hope you guys found some use in it. Um, also, if you guys want to uh, sign up for my website, easyspeedsandfeeds.com. You can save your own custom speeds and feeds into the website, and there's a form you can connect with people. It's it's pretty great. So, 
Um, subscribe for more videos, and we'll see you later. Thanks.